For Info Life TV, uh, Olivier Rafowitz here from Jerusalem. I'm uh, with Alexander Ivanko, who is the uh, spokesperson for the Unifil Force in South Lebanon. Mr. Ivanko, good morning. Good morning to you. As you know, in Israel, we are very uh, aware about what is going on uh, till the war in South Lebanon. I would like to ask you first question. How is the Unifil Force is right now deployed? Well, the Unifil Forces are deployed throughout the South. We have about 6,000 troops already on the ground, constituting five battalions from Spain, France, Italy, Ghana, and India. And we also have the Unifil Maritime Task Force, which is patrolling the sea border of the coast of Lebanon. Uh, already we have uh, over uh, approximately a dozen ships, and seven additional ships should be arriving very soon. How many other troops are you uh, expecting? Well, we're expecting additional troops uh, in October and November, um, a couple of uh, more battalions and also engineers, etc. According to our uh, sources, uh, we have been noticed that uh, yesterday there was a first incident between Hezbollah and the uh, Spanish uh, uh, force. Uh, can you uh, maybe elaborate about it? Well, I'm personally not aware of actually any major incidents in our area of operations for a long, long time. Uh, there have been minor incidents involving people dressed in possibly Hezbollah uniforms, but nothing major. Are you uh, a little bit worried that uh, Hezbollah will uh, be a problem? We remember that in uh, 1984 there was a major terrorist attack against American and French troops in Beirut. Can you uh, think that such a possibility is still uh, uh, potentially uh, possible? What I can tell you is the reality on the ground. The yeah. reality on the ground is that we do not see any armed Hezbollah fighters in our area of operation. The situation in South Lebanon is quiet and stable. Uh, there are basically no incidents whatsoever. However, this does not mean we are not vigilant. Mm -hmm. We have troops that are very well equipped. We have uh, heavy equipment like main battle tanks and 155 millimeter guns. So we are re ready to deal with any problem if it arises. What is the uh, general uh, relationship be between Unifil forces and the uh, Lebanese people living in uh, the different villages in the area? Well, generally the relationship is quite good uh, because, first of all, we provide a safe and secure environment for the population here. And the second thing is that we actually provide a lot of humanitarian assistance, including the mining and also destroying all the cluster bomblets that are lying in South Lebanon. We also provide medical care free of charge. We uh, received yesterday uh, in Israel, according to the Israeli press, uh, an interesting report that uh, uh, Amir Perez, the uh, Defense Minister of Israel, has received, uh, I would say, uh, a notification or that uh, in case that Israeli airplanes will uh, fly uh, upon uh, Lebanese territory, uh, there is a possibility that UNIFIL will uh, use uh, anti-aircraft uh, weapons against it. Uh, I saw the statement from uh, Minister Perez. I can tell you that, first of all, we do take all uh, violations of the blue line, including violations of the Lebanese airspace by Israeli jets and unmanned uh, aircraft very, very seriously, and they're reported on a regular basis to the United Nations headquarters in New York. However, I'm not aware of any such comments made by any UNICEF senior officials, the ones you're referring to. So what you are saying to InfoLife TV is that the UNIFIL force will not use anti-aircraft weapons? As I told you, um, uh, right now, uh, I can only tell you that I'm uh, not aware of any such comments, uh, and Right now, our position is very clear. Any air violations are monitored and reported as serious violations to the U.N. headquarters in New York and further down to the U.N. Security Council. How are your relationship with the Israeli authorities on the other side? The relationship is very cordial. I mean, we have liaison with the Israeli Defense Forces. Um, we often talk on the phone, meet with the Israeli officers and officials. Uh, we also organize these trilateral meetings which involve UNIFIL, the Lebanese Army, and the Israeli Defense Forces that have become more or less regular. So the relationship is quite good. Good luck, sir, and uh, do svidaniye. Do svidaniye. Bye-bye.